Now we review Kroger Mercado Sandia Sweet Watermelon Watermelon Soda. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I've gotten my hands on some uh, Kroger brand Mercado Sandia Sweet Watermelon Soda. I believe I picked this up at Food for Less, but that doesn't sound right because it's a... I don't know if that's a Kroger uh, store or not, but... It's very pink. Uh, yes. For every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. So if you'd be so kind as comment, like, and subscribe, you'd be doing your part for a better world. Now, um, I, I really do like the flavor of watermelon, so I generally gravitate towards watermelon products a little more. But uh, this was such a unique find. I don't know if there is a name brand watermelon soda. And I believe this is made with real sugar. Inspired by tradition, made with real sugar, yes. The watermelon's more of an aftertaste. has a bit of a bite to it, but it's uh, definitely refreshing. Watermelon soda, natural flavor. This is 130 calories with um, 32 grams of sugar. Ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, gum arabic, uh, medium chain triglycer triglycerides, sodium benzate, and potassium sorbate, which is a preservative, as well as red 40. very much taste the acetic content of this, which is weird because I don't really associate that with watermelon. It kind of throws me off a bit, but, um, yeah. I don't love it. I enjoy it. I like it. I might even buy it again, but, uh, I do not absolutely love it. It's a solid, unique beverage, probably uh, designed for drinking in cocktails. You know, uh, again, this would pair very well with a whiskey or even an Amer or uh, a honey whiskey, which would probably make the uh, the flavor pop a little bit more. It would also probably change the color some, so that wouldn't be too good. But yeah, uh, definitely, definitely worth trying. It's not as sweet as some other sodas you might get, but it is reasonably sweet. Uh, I don't have a can at the moment, but, you know, some sodas go up to more than 200 calories. 130 is about where mainstream sodas uh, level out. Some of them go down to 110, I think. But yeah, you know, for what it is, it's a very, very good beverage, very unique. It's a summertime thing. Again, if you're the kind of person that, that wants to, um, you know, have a conversation piece at a party, 
pull out a case of this, everyone's going to be like, hey man, let's try some watermelon soda. You know? Uh, so, because this is going to be kind of hard to find again, it's a Kroger brand, and um, I believe Kroger's can be found at Stater Brothers, and they can be found at um, Vaughn's, as well as, I guess, because I, I swear I got this at a Food for Less. You may need to request this at your local, but if you do, you know, this is certainly a product uh, worth trying. I mean, you know, you may or may not like it, but it's so unique, it's very hard to find watermelon soda. I've never seen a watermelon Shasta, and believe me, I have looked. You know, I try almost every Shasta I can get my hand. I try almost every soda I can get my hands on. And, you know, again, this is the first time I've ever seen a watermelon. So, yeah, that makes this something that you should dry just to make the product more common. Again, not as sweet as most sodas, about the same calorie level, but certainly, certainly very unique. I like it. You know, it's not bad. I'm Richard. Greetings folks, Fred the Facehugger here, reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe. And why should you do that? Because for every thousand subscribers, Random Street Theater here will pull a pound of trash out of the ocean. That's through the company 4Ocean. And why? Why do we pull trash out of the ocean? Because your world is dying. Care about your world? Comment, like, and subscribe. It's not that hard.